All right, everybody, welcome back to my animal house. We're back in the snake slash rodent room. I just want to talk about mice and uh, rat breeding today, just kind of some ins and outs, some tips, tricks, some things that I've done wrong, some things that hopefully I'm doing right, and the things, reasons why I like the rack systems and not tanks, and just that kind of general stuff I just wanted to go over and uh, just show you how I do it. I'm going to clean the tub. We're going to go through some. I got the, some African software rat babies, and the parents are out of the tank right now, so we'll sneak in there. I'll get a little video of them, and we'll put the parents in. I'll get some video of that. It'll be fun. You know, the African software rats, they're a little ornery, but, you know, they're like twice as much protein as a regular rat, you know? It's like, and, and it's even just like the size. You can take a rat twice the size of an African software, and it's still the African software. is way better protein, way better for you snakes. So, you know, it's a little more of a hassle to deal with the temperament, I think, because they, you know, I don't think you're really going to make too much friends with them. But, hey, you, they're not there really for friends, but, you know, I treat them just as well as I treat everybody else. Keep all the cages clean. So uh, we'll go over some mice. I'm going to clean a tub, like I said, and uh, just kind of talk about things as we go through. And I'll show you some mice, some mice babies, some rats, some rat babies, and uh, kind of go over how I do things and why I do it. All right, everybody, I'll get set up, and we'll uh, get ready to go, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. All them babies, everybody. Sixteen of them. A bunch of them have the white heads. Like two or three of them are completely dark, and there's two or three that are really light colored. Let's wait till they get a little bit bigger to figure out which ones are going to be which. Oh, those are the rats. Let me get their parents back in here. I'll show you how I move. And you just grab them by the back of the can. They're usually pretty good about it. They don't care. Hi, buddy. They're like, has anything changed? <laughs> Up here, check these off first. He's got any babies in here yet? Hmm? Looking suspicious. Any babies? How you doing back there, little teddy bear? Hmm? This one's like, what are you doing filming me, foe? All mine, the females are the lighter one. Oh no, there's one darker female down below. Look at a little chubby back there. What are you sniffing around now? Yep, these guys, pretty much as soon as you colonize them like this and you put them together, 
Yep, you can't add nothing else. The only way that you're going to get any other moms in here is if you leave one of the baby females in here. Let it grow up with the pack and then it'll be fine. Whatever you do, don't add nothing new in here. They'll whip it down. They're mean. Mice are the same way. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So I just wanted to show the African software rats first. All these guys freak out. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm? Nobody's messing with you and your babies. Hi, little mama. Hi. Don't lean on the bucket when you're filming. <laughs> or on the tub. Oh, God, what What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? You want a little treat? Hmm? Hmm? I give them all. They say for the moms, it's good to give them little milk biscuits. For when they're nursing, but... They seem to like them. I give it to them all the time. Gives them something a little extra. I try to keep all their diet as close as I can. 20% protein, 6% fat. Seems to work for me. If it doesn't work for you, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave these guys alone and we'll get to the mice. Alright everybody, here's some grow out males in here. You know, nothing special, just some grow out mice. Just kind of wanted to talk about the tub a little bit. I'm going to give them a little bit of chip. Man, they love a salted chip. Believe it or not, it's a good snack for them. Bumps up the protein in their meal. Watch this. They come from everywhere. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, these guys, these guys actually, you know, because they are the breed or the grow out males, that these guys will get fed off first. Only because the males stink way worse than the females do. I'm not exactly sure why, but the males stink worse. So if you're going to have mice around, you know, like in a bulk amount, you know, try to keep more females than males because they don't stink near as bad. Yeah, sounds like Rice Krispies, don't it? All right, let's go. I got some females up here, and the next one we'll give them some chips, too. All right, let's go up to these females. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more females because I've already fed off some of the males, and you know why. But, yeah, caring for the rats and the mice, there's not a lot of difference. It's just kind of a bigger scale. The mice have a quarter inch screen instead of the half inch square in their screen. And they love these chips too. But yeah, one of the biggest things as far as these grow out tanks I think is the most beneficial to have these around us. Because like when I have babies that are ready, that are ready to be weaned and all that, and you need to put them somewhere, and you don't want to cause any fights, these grow out bins are a lot better because it's all females, all males. And there's a lot of different sizes in here, so there's not a lot of dominance goes on. These are kind of neutral bins almost. So then when I do have babies, you just kind of, you can throw them over. There's a little bit of scuffle at the beginning. You kind of got to let some of it go. But for the most part, it's, you know, it's minimal, and they'll all start to get along. And, and these tubs will just help out so much better to have, you know, the grow-out colonies. Yeah, and all these are feeder mice, you know. I mean, they will get fed off. That doesn't mean that I don't care about them. I mean... Everybody takes care of their rodents. I mean, they're going to go to my snakes. So, I mean, the more I take care of these, the more I know what's going into them. I know the care of them. I know they're healthy. I know there's no nothing wrong with them, you know. So, they're way healthier for the snakes than just getting them somewhere that you don't know what they're feeding them. You don't know anything. So, bro, uh, you know, breeding your own mice is, is really good. It's just, you know, there's a lot of things that you need to do. It's like, if I had to do all this... Like I talked about in the beginning about the tanks and the tubs. If I was doing all this in aquariums, I would have gave up a long time ago. Cleaning the water dishes and the food dishes when they pee and poop in it and all that stuff. There is no way I would have this many mice and rats with tanks. There's just, there's no way I would do it. These racks are too easy to build. 
They're too cheap to buy to not have one. All right, everybody. These guys are chomping away. The little Rice crispy Treats. Hi, girl. Hi. And then uh, we'll go over. I'll check out some more mice, and we'll talk more about the racks and what I think about them and, you know, give you my opinion on both the one I built and the one I bought from TGR. So we'll close this one up, and we'll go check out some of my uh, actual albino colony, and then I'll tell you the difference about introducing and that kind of thing, how it's so much different from, th like, this only female colony than it is to actually establish a colony with a male and a female. So we'll get you set up over there, and we'll be there in just a second. This All right, see you later. See you later. <laughs> of course, as soon as I go to film. All right. All right, everybody, we'll go up in here. There's no babies left in here. They're all in the grot rack now, so it's just two females and a male for right now. This one's trying to get on there. You trying to get onto YouTube? Say, look at me. What are you running for? These are all just albinos. See, now in this colony, even though that over here in this rack, there's there's babies of, of these moms and dads here. If I grab one of these females out of here, or even one of those males, and put it into this tub with, with this established group, oh, the fight is on. You wouldn't even believe how it, they'd go nuts. I'd have to get them out of there before they killed it. I mean, mice are no joke, man. Do not mess with them. Hi. Oh yeah, when you have an when you have an established colony, yeah, introducing something is I mean, you can try like a whole brand new clean cage, that whole thing and and even then I still think that it's it's probably not the best idea or very healthy, especially if you have any females that have any babies or getting ready for babies, they don't need that kind of stress cuz they will fight. We'll go on to the next tub down, we'll talk some more. All right, everybody, we'll go into here, and I don't know if you guys remember this guy. This is Rocky. Rocky and his girlfriend. Rocky's a fancy mouse, they call him. He's got the white on him. Pie ball, they call it. So hopefully he's a, what the gene they call him. I, from what I can look up, there's no, like, two gene. They call it all three gene if it's got the multicolor. So hopefully he's got the three genes or the three gene in him. So I can get some colored mice, because if I'm going to breed mice, I would like to get a little, some colored ones. Like black, white, and brown would be cool, you know. Instead of just white or, you know, just the same colors over and over and over again. It would be cool to get a little bit of multi-colors. But as far as these tubs go, these things are, you know, the tub racks. As far as the one we built and the one I got from TGR, both are just... I would recommend either one. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and, and you think you can build yourself a rack, go to Home Depot, get some wood, get some mixing tubs. By all means, build it yourself. It's fun to build. You know, I mean, it, it's cool getting it the way you need it. You get down, buddy. And, uh, you know, and they work out just fine. I bought this one from TGR here. Works out just fine. Came with the watering system, all the little nozzles, everything works out really well. This one's really convenient. If you're not a do-it-yourselfer and you just want one ready to go, buy this one. Comes in the box, all put together, tubs are in there, water, all you got to do, add water, add some mice, a little substrate, done. You know, it, they're just so much easier, so much cleaner. You, you, it's, it's unreal how, how much cleaner. We'll get in, the, in the next tub. I'll show you the net babies in here and all this, and I'm going to clean this tub, so we'll get set up for that, and we'll talk more about the cleanliness of, like, the food, the water, the, everything is just, it's so much better in the rack systems. Like I said, I would never do any of this in tanks. There's no way. It's just too filthy. Too much work. Hi. Hi. What's up, Rocky? You guys watch the other video, you know why his name's Rocky? <laughs> Alright, we'll go down to the next tub, check out some babies, check out Little Boss, and uh, we'll clean that tub, and we'll talk more about the ins and outs, the tanks, tubs, mice, and rats. Alright, everybody, we're down here. What's Little Boss? Here, oh, there's Little Boss. Yep, he's over a month and a half old, and he's... <laughs> He's as big as the babies that are in here. Cracks me up. Let's see if we can get some of these guys. Come here. 
Yeah, these guys aren't as tame as some of the other ones, but... But we're gonna clean this tub because these guys, there's a lot of them in here, so... That's the mom here. Which is really weird because she hasn't been with a male in, since before she had this litter. And that she's the only one that looks pregnant right now. It just cracks me up. Hi, Mom. Hi. Yeah, I give, I give the moms milk bones. You know, dog milk bones. It says it's good for when they're lactating for the babies. I give it to the rats. And, and it helps with their supplement of their meal, too. I use the F6 Missouri, you know, breeder food. But it's 16 and 6. And I like a little more protein than that. I like 20% protein, 6% fat. So I give them these little treats and it helps with balance things out. See, she loves the little bosses over there helping her out. We're going to get these guys all round up into a tub and all that. And I'll clean out this one and I'll explain how I do it and what I use when I do do it. And you wouldn't believe how clean. I mean, other than the biscuit I throw in there, but they eat that pretty good. All these rack systems are just amazing as far as cleanliness, as far as food. I know people that have other rodents, hamsters, that kind of shit stuff, and uh, they, they go through tons of food because they just, they, they can't, the, the hamsters, the mice, they'll just poop right in the food, pee right in the food, in the water, you know, if you're not having a water system like this, or at least even the little water bottles I use over here. You know, if you're just using a little bowl of water, a little bowl of food, it is the most miserable when you're breeding mice and other rodents. It's just crazy. There's no way I would do it in a tank, like I said. It's just, there's no way. But these tubs are nice. You just pull them out, pull the little water deal out, empty it out, clean it out. And all these mice, it's like, it's crazy. I'll show you once I get the video set up for the cleaning of the tub it's all crazy they'll pick a corner one of the four corners or two of the four corners will be where they pee they don't they'll poop everywhere you know how mouses or any rodents they'll just poop anywhere they don't care but um as far as the peeing goes they always pee in one one corner one or two corners sometimes just in the front or the back so when i'm you know doing the tubs and all that i focus all the expanding you know um pellets that i use that uh, help with the ammonias and all that and it absorbs all the moisture and that kind of thing. Yeah, I just focus all them little pellets either in the front and the back. I don't put a lot in the middle because there's really not a lot of pee in the middle. I'll kind of show you when I am. Um, when I go to clean it out, I'll kind of show you where their little area is. Hi everybody. I'm over here talking. There wasn't even no mouse was where I'm filming. You guys got to watch it anyway. It's all part of the deal. Hi, little guys. Mom's back there with a little half a biscuit she's eating away. Little boss is back there chomping it down. Yep, he should be full grown. He's about the size of these babies, and they're about two weeks old. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we'll round these guys up into a tub. We'll clean the tub, and we'll get this video ended. And um, go over maybe a couple more things, if I can think of anything that I missed. And uh, get a tub cleaned out and get these guys cleaned and get going. Alright everybody, we'll back at the table. We'll get this tub up here and see if we can catch all these mice. Hopefully none of them get away. I'm not looking in here. Let's get you first. Got all these guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, my guy. Come on. <laughs> Stay in there. There's a reason why they call them hoppers at this stage. <laughs> Those little suckers will hop all over the place. Oh, we got one. Come here. Come here, buddy. Calm down, hey. There we go. Oh, nobody's hurting you. Alright, here. Let me get on the bottom. Put out some of their toys. Side here. Just kind of give it a once over. I'm sure there ain't no babies in there nowhere, alright. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
See on this one, this corner right here is wet. So I know that this is the back room right corner, so I'll, a lot of their pellets, I'll accumulate a lot of them up there instead of just, you know, in the front and the back. Not as many in the middle. Just because I know they're all peeing back there. It's crazy how they do that. But I'm going to pause this, I'm going to take this, go dump it, clean it out with soap and water, and I'll be back to disinfect it, and we'll get it filled right back up. All right, everybody, we're back here with a clean tub. Got it all cleaned out. A little disinfectant, like always. Let that sit there for a little bit. that I clean them. I clean the mice about once a week. Depends on how many babies are in there, how big the babies are. African soft furs, you can go let them go about 10 days, two weeks. They're not near as dirty or stinky. So then we just put some old pine pellets in there. Like I said, we usually just put some on the back, some on the front in case they move their little spot. Got the you know, kiln drying pine bedding. Not be too much. Remember, guys, especially with the African software rats, make sure to give their bedding to where they can reach the food. Because they don't jump and climb like the mice. The mice will just jump right up there and eat. The African software rats, they don't. So make sure you got enough. And even for your younger mice, make sure they can reach the food and the water and, you know, and that whole thing. With the amount of bedding, you can help control that and make it a little easier on things. But that's about it. I just throw the toys back in there. Let's get that with these mice back in here. Alright, everybody, come on. Come on. Hang on, strong. Come on. Here we go. Alright. So next week, we'll get you guys put back in. Get you a little tag. Get that little sticker on there. It's everybody running around in their new little clean pen. Hi, everybody. All right, everybody. That's my tips and tricks to mice breeding in the animal house. Oh, gotta put the water in. Don't forget to put the water in. All right, everybody, here's the old rack. It's the old food up there. The old rat rack. The old mice. Yeah, see? Make sure they can reach the water. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. Smack that notification bell. There'll be more videos like this one coming up soon. We got more rat babies coming. We got more mice babies coming. Hopefully someday, snake babies. Thanks for watching My Animal House YouTube. Till next time. Remember everybody, these are my tips and tricks. They work for me. If they don't work for you, get your own. Thanks everybody.